welcome again to the 12 days of the Zebra BI report makeovers. Today we're going to be looking at an Excel dashboard for forecasting and budgeting. So the first thing to greet us again is a plain P&L table. My arch nemesis. No, but I kid. It is quite a very complex way of presenting financial data, especially to non-finance individuals. Uh, it would really help to visualize some of this data to make it clearer to everybody else. However, one thing that I really think that this table could do with is some variances. This would help us understand the differences between the plans a lot better. And one more thing that could do with a little bit more context also is the subtotals and the totals, as right now we don't really know exactly what was subtracted and what was added. Then underneath we have another table with our KPIs and I think the best way to tackle this is actually take both of these tables and combine them with one Zebra BI table. With this we now get an awesome visualization that includes both a table view and a visualization to show the differences between our plans and to get a more visual and better representation of the differences between them. We also now have all the information in one place and this is giving us a more holistic view of all the financial situation. To give you an example, we've also added the EBITDA and EBITDA margin into the visualization because each of them could be found once in the KPIs and once in the growth table. However, they weren't present in the initial P&L statement. Now this is giving us a more holistic view and now we understand exactly how the story goes from top to bottom, right? So from our revenues all the way down to our net income. One thing to mention is that we also changed the formatting of the numbers and that we're now showing them in billions. This will also help understand a little bit more the differences and some calculations that you might do in your head. Now let's go back to the visualization. The variances you can see on the visualization were all automatically created and required no extra calculations or formulas uh, for any pair that you see that are presented here. The variances are also color and pattern coded to reflect the best practices set upon by international business communication standards that Zebra BI follows. This ensures better understanding and easier distinction between them. Remember that this kind of standardization is very important throughout all of your reports and keeping color usage wise and consistent throughout all your reports is a good step towards keeping all of your reporting clear and understandable. In another way, you could say that when a variance is set, only then use green and red. Diagonally from the table, we can see that we have some comments. And this is great. Comments really add to the context of our numbers and of course they also offer a lot of information into why something is happening. However, we have a little bit of a problem here which is to understand exactly what comment refers to which data point. I think adding them to our visualization and of course with help of Zebra BI also getting the comment markers there's no problems now because we understand exactly what comment refers to which data point. The second visualization is showing us growth, but we lack the context to understand in which time point this growth is actually going on. So we could actually use some more context here by maybe seeing some trends, right? To understand what the development over time is going to be and to see what is actually going to drive our performance in the upcoming years. The color usage could also do with some improvement. As we can see that the sales and net income are both represented with the same blue that could lead to some confusion. Remember what we said about color before, only use strong saturated colors for variances. Well, this is exactly what happens if we visualize this data with Zebra BI. You can see that we also added some trends and uh, we chose to visualize the data with area charts, giving us a better visual representation of the magnitude of change that we are expecting in our next years. And there we go, a really nice and cool looking forecasting dashboard full of insights allowing you to make the right decisions. Grab it from the description below, try it on your data and hey, maybe let us know in the comments how much you like it. Now don't forget to like the video and subscribe not to miss any of the following 12 days of the Zebra BI report makeovers. Thank you for being here and be great.